Hey, so I'm back with another one. Two in one day. Don't have a heart attack, okay? Um, but I got a very good uh, question, well, some good questions in my inbox from a YouTuber, Toffee Beauty. I believe that's the name. I was looking at the questions and I hurry up and ran in here so I could uh, do this. So hopefully I didn't mess that up. Um, but she asked some really good questions, so I'm going to address those. And the first one was, uh, what is the pros and cons of locks? And for me, locks can be so many things to so many different people that, you know, pros and cons, I would say, is a very hard thing um, to really gauge or that will be very individual. Um, if you are a person that is, is strictly from the standpoint of a hairstyle, then I would say the pros of locks are once you get past the, um, you know, initial baby and teenage, you know, the maybe one to three um, years, um, they're very low maintenance. Um, you really do not have to look at your hair much at all. They, you know, pretty much do their own thing. They basically just hang and, you know, other than retwisting, if you do decide to retwist, um, there really isn't much thought that has to be taken, you know, into consideration with your locks. Um, because, like, one thing I always thought, you know, when I rolled out of bed in the morning, my hair was always done regardless because, you know, locks was my style. So my hair was always done. Now, you can get into re freshly retwisted or not, but still, you know, they they were in a done state to me, you know. Um, cons would be, I really wouldn't say there's a con other than, um, you know, that particular size and, um, you know, your parting situation, that is pretty permanent once things are rooted in and settled. You can always combine locks. Um, I have seen some things of people cutting and separating the locks once they are mature, but to me, I think that kind of looks a little interesting and I personally would not do that. Um, but once they're in there, they are, you know, the lock itself, they are there. There isn't much that you can do other than picking it out and starting it over, but then you have, you know, mature locks and a new lock and you know, it, it may not have really been that bad to have that kind of variation in your hair. Um, so, you know, like I said, locks is just an interesting thing. It's, a, you know, pros and cons because, you know, they they can mean so many things to so many people. Um, the So cons, uh, you know, other con that kind of came to my mind is, you know, public perception, which um, a... YouTuber also just recently, on my last video, made a comment of um, if I was treated differently now that my hair is loose, and I would say that I am. Um, what I find is that, you know, older black people are more likely to approach me now, whereas, I mean, it wasn't that they weren't friendly or anything like that, you know, you know, the hi and how you're doing, that's about as far as it went, but, you know, for example, you know, more of the um, older black folks at my job, now they'll come and ask me questions like, you know, well, how are you girls doing? Or, you know, more general life stuff. Whereas before it was just, you know, a head nod and, uh, you know, how you doing? Um, one person had told me that, you know, now with my hair out that I appear softer or, you know, maybe more approachable. Now, I know when I'm not paying attention that um, my face can kind of break down to a mean mug sometimes. So, you know, I can kind of get that. And maybe with a mean mug and locks, eh, maybe it was a little too much. But, you know, maybe now with this, it doesn't appear like I'm, you know, going to bite your head off. Although I didn't think that's how I was looking before with the locks, but, you know, maybe to them, you know, it, it was. Um, but on the same token, you know, I seem like I can't stay on the straight and narrow. So on one hand, you know, my hair is no longer in the locks, but, you know, I have all these tattoos here. So 
you know, I scare them off in another way. Um, if not for my hair or something else, I guess. Um, and so that was that part. So pros and cons. You know, I, I don't think, you know, locks are pros and cons kind of hairstyle. You know, you may start them because of ease of not having to fuss with your hair, you know, or, you know, you start them because of, you know, you just like how they look in general. Um, but then the con part of it is it is a process. They're not, you know, instantly. They're not instantly going to look like, you know, my locks of seven years. And sometimes people who want them just for the look really don't have that kind of patience so it is a hairstyle of patience um you know if people constantly you know several youtubers have taken their locks out so a con is no longer that they are permanent so um so that is one thing to consider um her next question was do you um, prefer coils or two strand twists now, coils and two-strand twists, I think, are totally dependent on your hair texture. Um, personally, for my hair, I do not think coils would have held at all. Um, that, you know, in the washing, that it just would have, um, you know, been too much of a tug of war for me. And, you know, I probably would have gave up. So, two-strand twists was enough for my hair to be held in place while we were going through the initial locking process. Mm -hmm. And, um, go, bye. <laughs> so, on the cold part, that would not have worked for my hair. Um, so, two strand twist is what it was. You're going to get in trouble. Um, but other people's hair may be able to withstand the cold. So, I think it's just mainly preference. And none is better or worse. It just depends on your hair texture. Um, Next sets of locks I may do, I may can do braids or probably two strand twists again. Um, that's what I, you know, as far as my particular hair texture, that's what I feel like my option are, either braids or two strand twists. So it was strictly a texture hold kind of um, decision on that part. Um, the next question was, which thanks to my daughter, I have forgotten. Um... Do, 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 do. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back. I got that last question. It was, um, did you enjoy the thickness of your locks or did you wish them to be smaller or larger? And um, I really enjoyed the size of my locks. I think um, they were kind of a mixture of, you know, thin and medium. Um, and they were pretty good texture. I mean, I mean, a pretty good thickness. Um, it allowed me a lot of versatility, you know, and it wasn't that many to retwist. I had about 116 or so. Um, so, like I said, it was enough so that my hair was full, but, um, you know, it wasn't a whole lot to where they were very thin and I had to worry about breakage or having to combine them or anything like that um, locks will swell as the years go by when well, as the years go by when you first get them done they may be thin but as the matte hair kind of works itself in the lock they will thicken up so you know my locks were maybe those two strand twists you know when their first washing was maybe about this thick but you know after some years they thickened up and then after years of, of you know palm rolling them they kind of condensed a little bit so they actually kind of tightened up a little bit more so they wasn't as thick as you know let's say year one in the process all right so um yeah so i enjoyed you know the texture that they were and the thickness that they were um i'd probably do around about that same amount if um if and when i start over all right so i enjoy answering your questions so you know you you guys can you know send me a bunch and i'll make some more videos since it seems like i have this mojo back of how to get them to upload and not look like crap so <laughs> i will be talking to you guys later